Do you ever feel completely overwhelmed by the endless laundry? It never stops. It never stops. It never goes away. It never leaves. Yeah, I felt like that before, which is why today I'm doing a laundry routine video. I'm going to show you how I keep my sanity through piles and piles and piles and loads and loads and loads of laundry. I'm also going to be sharing with you what budget-friendly products our family uses and I'm sharing tips with you along the way to just help make this whole endless system as stress-free as possible. Welcome back Pearls, I'm Brittany. This is Pennies Into Pearls where you can come for daily tips and inspiration to help you and your family live a better life without stressing about money. And I know that sounds good to you, so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any tips. All right, so I'm gonna take you through my whole day of laundry. I do laundry once a week, not daily. What do you guys do? Do you do daily laundry, like one load per day, or do you do everything in just one time per week? Now, my laundry routine is actually a little bit unique, and it starts the night before laundry day. Let's get started. My laundry routine starts the day before. Yes, I do all my laundry in one day, but the biggest tip I have for you guys is to start a load the night before, so that way on laundry day, I mean, how hard is it to go get laundry, throw it in the wash, and then switch it to the dryer. Cycle through an entire load. I wash it, I dry it, I bring it in the house so it doesn't get freezing out in the garage. And then on laundry day, I already have a load ready to go to fold and put away while I have other loads getting started. So it's the night before laundry day. I'm about to, well what I'm doing out here is I'm out here grabbing my stain treatment. I don't know whatever it's called, and I'm heading to the kids' room because that's where laundry needs to get started this time. PJs. It's time to switch the laundry and I have another tip for you. But first let me move the wet stuff to the dryer. I do all kids clothes go in the dryer. Scratch that. Except for some of Kennedy's like church dresses. Those I, I air dry. Now, this is gonna dry, and then I'll take it out in the morning when I wake up. But, I also, do you guys love the delay start as much as I do? I use it with cooking, I use it in the dryer, with the dishwasher when we had one. So I'm gonna put a load of whites in right now, delay start it to start one hour before I wake up. That way when I wake up, I can switch everything and put a new load in. That way I have, you know, laundry available to fold as soon as I have a spare minute. Two whites. Let's see. It's eight o'clock, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, nine hour. Alright, I am ready to go for the morning. Good morning. It's time to switch the laundry. I'm usually not this aggressive, like going straight at switching the laundry before the kids are even awake. I mean, normally I'll like do my morning routine and then once the kids are awake, I'll come out and switch it. But we have an extremely busy day today, so we've got to get to work. Laundry. 
behold my laundry dumping station for the day it depends on the day sometimes i'll go dump the laundry in the living room i might end up doing that later but for now i'm just dumping all clean laundry here because i don't have time to fold it right this minute but i do have a tip for you guys so i just pulled the white out of the dryer one of the first things i do is pull all of the like collared church shirts for hubby and the boys out and then I just set them right here if I have time to fold them put them away or hang them I'll do that but this just makes it easier for um, ironing when the time comes they're not as wrinkled and it just makes it less tricky one thing you might not know about me is that I do zero ironing I'm a huge fan of the steamer for like my clothes sometimes the boys are hubby's clothes but hubby does all the ironing in our family and he usually does that um we really what do we need ironing for we don't use we don't have a lot of clothes that need ironing so usually it's just Sunday morning he irons a couple shirts right before church so now the kids are about to get out of bed and I'm going to go switch one more load of laundry before we leave for school and finish getting ready for the day <laughs> We're gonna air dry this. For our clothes, I intentionally do not buy anything that has special washing instructions. Maybe on accident that might happen, but for the most part, everything just gets a normal wash, but I do pay attention to things like dresses, um, jeans, pants, that kind of thing that I do not want to go in the dryer. Would you pay $2 to buy a book from another kid that looks like the slow cooker as one of my tools or supplies for laundry day is because I want to make sure that I have enough time in my um, throughout the day to be able to fold and put away the laundry because if that happens all in one day it's like the best right so what I do is I try to plan a slow cooker meal or a meal that's just like super super easy for laundry day so today I have some pork chops in the slow cooker and that's gonna make dinner tonight so easy and then I can use the time that I would have normally prepped dinner and use that time to um, fold laundry and put it away and do other multitasking things that I'll show you. All right, so now the name of the game is, I think I have about one or two more loads of laundry to switch out in the garage. We have everybody ready for school. We're about to hop in the car and I have the piles of laundry just to keep piling up on my bed. The challenge now is to just take advantage of little 10, 15 minute pockets throughout my day. I'll run in here, fold something or run in here, put away something. And that's just kind of how I juggle it. So it is now eight o'clock. I have almost all the laundry washed and dried and that's my strategy. Just find little pockets of time. And I like to do it during times of day where I can multitask. So whether I'm um, listening to an audiobook, have the kids next to me working on their homework or the reading, that kind of thing. So I'll take you with me. Well, today had a few change of events, unplanned change of events. So it is now 5:30, and there are approximately <coughs> five or six loads of laundry on my bed. One still in the dryer. Um, 
nothing is folded and I need to leave in 30 minutes to go to a meeting at church. So here's the game plan. The game plan is this. I'm gonna show you all of my supplies and products that I use for laundry because that is important because they're all super budget friendly and I usually stock up when there's a really good sale at Target with like get a, a gift card back. So that's good. And then I'm gonna go to my meeting, come home, and then bust out the laundry. Well, the family's sleeping because I am determined to get it folded and put away today because whenever, are you guys like this? Whenever I have laundry, folded and put away within one day my week is so much better my stress level is so much lower i want that for you guys too so ah all right so let me show you all of my supplies i use for laundry day here is my very basic lineup we'll start left to right now i mentioned earlier that i do not do not iron i will do everything i can to avoid it put it back in the dryer give it a little mist and a tug, whatever it takes. And then one blessed day I learned about the sanity that comes from a steamer. This is a Conair brand. I think it was around $40. It's in one of my grocery hauls probably like last summer, summer of 2018. So anyways, you, it's very affordable. You can find it everywhere and it works awesome. Now for spot treatments, I use the OxyClean laundry stain remover. This stuff works amazing. That I used to use all the time and then you pearls told me about the OxyClean one and I love it and I just buy the refillable container and then just refill this. Um, it's also great for soaking your clothes if you need to soak anything, but I pretty much just do spot treating mainly on the kids clothes or if hubby and I ever get any stains, this is what we use. We use the Kirkland brand laundry pods. This is an amazing, amazing value. Um, the Tide pods are almost, I don't think they're quite double, but they are more expensive and these work amazing. Um, and our clothes always come out feeling and smelling so clean and fresh. And we do use fabric softener. I just use the Kirkland brand dryer sheets, throw one or two in our load of laundry and it's good to go. And then the secret ingredient that I recently started using not that long ago, well, a few months ago, vinegar. This is just the distilled white vinegar from Target. And you get this giant gallon jug for like $1.50. I've had it for a year, maybe longer even. And I just do maybe like a quarter cup of this vinegar. Anytime my laundry starts to like, especially with the kids laundry, you guys saw me putting that um, vinegar in with their laundry. If it starts to smell kind of like stale, musty with your bathroom towels, it your clothes do not smell like vinegar. I promise you, I was so hesitant to do it. So I just put a pod in to the um, laundry drum and then this goes in the little drawer where you can put in liquid detergent. I just put about a quarter cup in with um, one load of laundry and it works so good. It's also a disinfectant. So when I um, wash hubby's clothes, his police uniform, I always make sure to do um, the vinegar to help disinfect all those germs he picks up at work. So that's it. Really simple, right? There's not a big, giant, expensive lineup that I have for my laundry products, but these are all affordable and they work great. And our clothes, they last as long as I think you can expect them to, maybe even longer. The delay start is awesome because I'm going to switch out the final load of laundry, but what I'll do is I'm going to be able to delay start the last load of laundry so that way it finishes right before we get home and I don't have to deal a smelly laundry that's been sitting in the washer all day. You guys know what that smells like, so it takes care of all that. All right, it's 9 a.m. I've showered tonight. Sometimes you just need to shower at night, you know? And I'm about to tackle all this laundry. I will get it folded. I will get it put away before I go to bed tonight. Mark my words. All right, I am off to put away the laundry. We'll sneak in because everybody's asleep, but thanks you guys so much for watching. So normally the ideal situation would be that I'm folding and putting away this laundry between the hour, like after school pickup, 
between dinner time, but today was just a whole nother day. So when that happens, I try to catch up at night and sometimes it rolls into the next morning, but pretty much 24 hours ish is when I get all of my laundry day done. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Of course, I wanna hear about your guys' laundry routine. Do you do it one load a day or one day a week? Thanks for watching guys, bye.